my goodness, we are going to make this delicious dish today. Oh my goodness, stuffed shells with meatballs. Mm -mm. Hey guys, welcome back to Cooking at Pam's Place. I'm Chef Pam and we're getting ready to make meatball stuffed pasta shells with gravy. It's easy, simple, and delicious. And if you want to learn how to make all kind of homemade food and dishes, easy, simple, and made from scratch, just keep hanging around because I have a whole channel full of recipes that'll get you there. Now, before we get started, guys, take a moment and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell and make sure it's set to all. Let's get busy. So the first thing we want to do is make sure our pasta gets going. So we're going to salt our water really good. You want an, an overly amount of salt so we can season them up. Make sure your water comes right back up to a boil. Then we're going to go in with our pasta shells. Let those cook while we make our meatballs. While our pasta is cooking, we are going to go ahead and get our meatballs made up. This is 80-20 ground beef. The ingredients are simple. I'm going to add in a little Himalayan salt. Maybe. <laughs> there we go. A little black pepper. This is some rosemary powder. It is rosemary from my garden that I actually ground into an actual powder because it's you may know or not that when you use rosemary, sometimes you want the flavor, but the little sticks just don't break down enough. So I browned some down just for this purpose. We're also going to be adding in some panko breadcrumbs. If you don't have panko, you can use any breadcrumbs. You can even grind some old day old bread up and make it yourself. Now, a lot of people use egg. I'm going to go in with some mayo. I like to put mayo in my meatballs because it just makes it nice and moist. Then guys, make sure your hands are clean, 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 because now we're gonna go in and mix this up. I'm gonna mix it a little bit, start it off with my spoon, then you just gotta get in here with your hands to make sure it's mixed really, really well. Feel free to use some gloves. Now you just want to form them into balls. You don't want them too big because they need to fit inside of the actual pasta shells. And I will have all the ingredients and measurements in the description as usual. Don't worry about them being absolutely perfectly the same size either. That'll be just fine as well. Okay, I'm going to roll these all out and we'll be back. Okay, so our meatballs are all done and we want to go in. We want to brown them first before we uh, put them in the pasta and then put them in the gravy. They don't have to cook all the way through. They will cook in the gravy. And the pasta needs to be al dente, just underdone because they're going to cook more as well in the gravy. Make sure you go in and turn them ever so often so that they can brown on all sides. Okay, they are nicely brown, so we are going to take them out. As you can see, they are nicely brown on all sides. So we're going to take them out and put them on our bowl, and then we're going to drain the oil out of this skillet because Hamburger oil does not make for the best gravy. So we'll take these out, drain the oil, and we'll be right back. Okay, we are back, and although we drained our oil, we want the little bits that are in the bottom of the skillet. Those are going to add a tremendous amount of flavor. So scrape those up really well. Then we're going to add back in some cooking oil. Now from there, we're going to add in some flour and start to get it cooked back. Again, I'll have the ingredients and measurements in the description as always. All you have to do is come back to the video, click on it, and drop down to the description and read all about it. Guys, if you could smell this, it is amazing. That rosemary that I put in here is so fragrant. 
Make sure you're cooking that flour out. Now we're gonna go in with our onions. Get those stirred up as well. Nice and softened. As this to continues to cook about halfway through, you wanna go in and add in a little salt. Again, always salt and pepper to your taste. So if you don't want any more salt in there, don't put it in by all means. But it does help to bring out the flavor. And we're gonna give it another stir. And as you can see, it's starting to turn nice and golden brown, and that's just what we want. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, guys, we are right where we want it as far as color and cooking our onions and flour together. So now we're gonna go in with some water. Yes, just pure water. Now you can use chicken broth, beef broth, or whatever you want, but today we are using water. Just go in, make sure you stir as you pour. While this cooks, we're going to fill our shells one by one and put them right on in this gravy. Okay, and at this point, our shells have cooled. I had them in some cold water. You just wanna take a shell, take a meatball, put it right inside, just like that, and sit it down in the gravy. Do that until all your shells are filled and in the gravy. Then we'll cover each, then we'll cover them with the gravy as well. Okay, we're gonna knock this out and we'll be back. Then after you get them all filled, you wanna make sure that they're all covered with some of the gravy. And from here, you just wanna let them simmer for about 15 more minutes. Gravy will continue to thicken. And the pasta will finish cooking as well. Okay guys, we'll be back. Okay guys, and from here we are all done. I like to go in and sprinkle it with a little fresh thyme. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me at my kitchen today. I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time. The good Lord willing and the creek don't rise.